excellent. Um, okay, let's see. I should add you to my friends list. Oh, yes. Do, do, do. Social. Commander name. Magnetic moon. Yep. Okay, go ahead and log in and invite me to win. <laughs> and if I read... Uh, I know. What? Oh. oh, no, you're fine. If I read correctly, you have... Uh, a lot of stuff in your cargo hold. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, invite to wing. There it is. The loading screen. I had a message about uh, being careful when returning from a journey. If you have exploration data. <laughs> They're stalking you. Can you turn <laughs> no. on your wing beacon? We do know. They know all. Uh, that be under status. In uh, ship. Beacon set to wing. Beacon. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. There we go. And I have eyes on you. I think I see something. I see a wake. Hmm. <laughs> I think you're in normal space, so you will not see me for about oh. another 10 seconds. Yeah. Oh! There, there you are. And we've got contacts, target, miney stuff, heat sink, shiver. Cool. Okay, what's your range? I assume it's bigger than mine, but good to check. Uh, should be around 50. Yeah, 52. Okay, mine's 30. Uh, correct. So... Alrighty. Are you able to target my target? I should be able to, yeah. Uh, do you want to try targeting something just so I can... I am test. targeting something. Oh. Okay, I think we got the same target. Okay, so... First jump should be Cole 285, Sector, November Lima, TAC Yankee, Space Bravo 16, TAC 3, 27.4 light years. Uh, yep, looks cool. good to me. And you read over the basic procedures? Yeah. You know how to um, double high wake? So, I think, yeah, I think I know. It's just basically two blind jumps kind of thing. Correct. And in between okay. them, you should drop um, drop to normal space. So you do Done. one, one yeah. high wake, drop to normal space, and then you do another uh, system jump or high wake from there. Okay. I'm I assume not, you'll let me know if that's needed kind of thing. Probably not. Like, running into PCs is unlikely. You might find some at Gateway, but in that case, we'll... Uh, yeah, that would probably be the only place. I mean, Gateway might be a bit busy. I don't know how dead power play is. Um, I know some people are um, playing it. It is the faction system that I'm part of, yep. um, Alliance Office of Statistics. So if anything, there'd be... I'm, I'm assuming there'd be players from that faction there, so they should yep. be friendly for us. Probably. I'm more worried about NPCs with your cargo hold full. Um, so I was yeah. thinking about, and we'll see how it goes, dropping to normal space every jump. Especially since we only have eight jumps. Okay. So do you know how to charge and hold? 
Yeah. Okay, so you charge and hold, and I'm going to jump to the next system. I'm guessing you'll also have enough fuel to do all eight jumps without refueling. Because you're only jumping, right. like, half your range. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I always forget about efficiency. Yeah. It means you'll be using, like, I don't know, two tons per jump. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is a really small <laughs> fuel usage. Yeah. No, I, I once had a friend, I think he was jumping near the core in a max range condo, and he figured out that for one jump he used less than a kilogram of fuel. Oh my god. <laughs> this is pretty hilarious. <laughs> okay, system is clear. Go ahead and jump. This is pips to systems. Yes. A favorite way to fly. <laughs> Go around. Yeah, especially on super cruise, there's really no reason not to. I have eyes on explore. I have next stop targeted. Cold two eight five. Sector Mike Alpha TAC Alpha Space Bravo 16 TAC 2 26.9 light years. Confirm? Uh, yep. Excellent. Charge and hold, and I'll jump there and check it out. Cool. Do you happen to remember how far out Dublin Citadel is? It's pretty close. It's like 300 light seconds. Okay. That's easy then. Yeah. It should be the first station in the system. Right out. Back in, man, it was probably 2016. I was part of AEDC, and we were based out of there, so I was familiar with it what? back then. Yeah. System looks clear. You're good to jump. Jumping. It's fun, or it's it's been a bit of a, a journey, kind of for me, as I realized that my Hodos that I use uh, has a, more dead zones than I was comfortable with. So I see. And next jump that's is been fun dealing with. Hotel India Papa, space seven four three four six twenty six point six light years. Uh, it's tell me, wing target again. Is me. Oh, there it is. There we go. Looks good. Uh, yeah. I will jump, you charge and hold. What HOTUS do you have? Uh, it was a Thrustmaster. I got it as a gift. The uh, FCS or the X? Honestly, I don't actually remember. Do they go together? They do. Uh, you can also split them up yeah. apart. I, I had that. I used it for two years. Um, it does, I guess... As far as I can tell, everything gets dead zones that get a little bigger, um, yeah. which is kind of annoying. Like, I even heard people who have the Warthog have, have that issue. Oh, um, man. So, like, I guess it's just unavoidable. Yeah. And I ended up giving that one to the neighbor kid who played Elite Dangerous when I got the Thrustmaster FCS, which was pretty cool. Oh, well, that works. System is clear, you're good to jump. Jumping in. We're initiating jump, I guess. I need to go scoop some fuel. Yeah, I've currently got an issue though with this one where I need a bigger dead zone for the pitch. And whenever I set it in the game, it won't save it. So literally every time I log in, I have to go to controls and change it. And it's been that way for a year, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> that was a bit of a hassle. Yeah. <laughs> it's just annoying. Eyes on Explorer. Next jump is Hotel India Papa, space 71989, 27.3 uh, light years. I am looking at you to make sure you are safe okay. and happy. There we go. <laughs> 
Initiating Bye, jump. Alex. Charge and hold. I would like to get another one though. Possibly one with more customization because I was finding it difficult to uh, fit everything I wanted. I ended up using a lot of shift modifiers. And I even still do yeah. that on the uh, FCS, which has even more buttons. But I want Fair to fit enough. everything on. And I don't think... <laughs> maybe, like, if you got a high-end verbal or something, you might be able to fit everything on, but... I'm pretty sure you just have to use shift modifiers, because there's so much stuff now. Yeah, part of us just learning the new control scheme. Definitely. System is clear, you're good to jump. Initiating. On Explorer, looks clear. Next target is Hotel India Papa, space 70499, 21.2 light years. Looks good. And you see the star. So did you log out for a while in the middle of nowhere? Um, kind of, yeah. I was on the Distant Worlds 2 expedition, oh, um, man. and I fell behind on the return trip. <laughs> and so I stopped playing for several months, about halfway back. Yep. I think halfway to Colonia, actually. And so just a few days ago, I just marathoned it, marathoned my way to Colonia, um, and realized everything is extremely hostile to me. System is but clear. luckily it's... Why is everything hostile in Colonia? Well, not necessarily just everything, but I had a lot of ships chasing after me because of um, my <laughs> mined your... cargo. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, I was able to get in and out relatively quickly because it's a much smaller bubble. Yeah. Um, it was only a few jumps. Um, but yeah, I figure for the main bubble, I'm like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a little worrying. Eyes on Explorer. Next up is Baidu Sector. Bravo Golf Tech X ray. Space Bravo 1 Tech 3. 25.4 light years. Alright, looks good. Yeah, you did better than me. So I was all excited to go on the Distant Worlds Expedition. And I provided escorts on the way out. And to Waypoint 1. And that's as far as I made it. <laughs> I was like, I am not good at this exploring stuff. I like living in my happy little bubble. I remember the first exploration expedition I did on my own, or just in general, was out to Bernard's Loop. Mm. And I was just I was just sort of having a great time just sort of doing the whole explorer thing. Yeah. And I went to go check out a planet and did the whole rookie thing of boost my way into the side of a mountain <laughs> and I put the game down for a few months after that <laughs> just how far out is Bernard's loop it's like 2000 it's not that or far something? okay yeah but it was my first yeah. exploration so Oof. I was like oh. system is clear meanwhile later on when they had that CG out in uh, the California nebula to build stations I was hauling my type 9 out there yeah <laughs> Two gets, and a couple. I think I did two or three trips. Gets easier with engineering. Yeah. And just with time getting used to these the long distances. Yeah. Makes the bubble feel small. Eyes on Explorer. Next jump is Baidu Sector India Hotel Tac Victor. Space Bravo 2 Tac 3. 18.2 light years. Got it. Initiating jump, charge and hold.
All that being said, though, Distant Worlds is cool, man. <laughs> That's Exciting. another monster all on its own. That was cool. I, well, and it was reasonable. I was just maybe a little burnt out on the game and ended up not playing for most of that time. It Yeah, it's easy to burn out on that one. <laughs> just because of the amount of jumps or the events and stuff? Yeah. System is clear. Alright, initiating. Very quickly, I was starting to feel the itch to get back in the bubble and uh, do stuff again. Right. <laughs> but I wanted to just stick with it and make it out and back. And you did. Just took you a while. Yeah. <laughs> Eyes on Explorer, we've got last jump. So can you go to oh, wow. your map and oh. target gate? What? I got a uh, hostile. Okay. Message. Oh, interdicted. Go uh, ahead submitting. and submit to interdiction. I am going to drop on you as fast as I can. Dropping on you. You try and jump out. Maybe this will also help. I don't know. Pop heat sink. <laughs> you go ahead and jump out. It's charging. Should do a double jump or stay in this system? I uh, just stay in this. Uh, you should jump to another system. All right. But you probably don't need to double jump because it's only an NPC. Or yeah, that's what I meant. I so I'm jumping to a new system. And you then can just also jump out. stop the jump unless there's another NPC. This one's focused on me, so I would just stay here for now with your jump charged. Oh, I was in the middle of. Uh... Should I drop back out into normal space? Uh, drop into normal space if you can, yes. Alright. And that type 10 is gone. Now I have your high wake. And... Did you jump to a different system, or are you still in this one? I'm still in this one. Okay. Hmm. I see you as being 16 light years away. I will jump to that one. Signal and engaging with a navlock. Although you are on the wrong. There we go. Okay, there you are. So now we look cool. at Gateway again. And Gateway is now two jumps for me. Alright. Your shields and everything good? Yeah, everything looks good. Were you at 96% before? Yeah. Okay, cool. I, uh, <laughs> I hit a few stars on my way That's back. That's fine. <laughs> I was just like, I really hope your shields <laughs> didn't go all the way down. Um, yeah. Next jump is Baidu, Sector, India Hotel, TAC Victor, Space, Bravo 2, TAC 3. Uh, I need a target. There we go. Sweet. I am jumping. Glad 
glad the Type 10 focused on me, although I did hit him with like three multi cannons, so he really should have. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, a Type 10, though. <laughs> yep. Gotta have that spoiler. Fair enough. Makes it Let's go make faster. it faster. Yeah. <laughs> System appears clear, you're good to jump. Alright, initiating jump. Yeah, when I saw Type 10, I was like, is that a player? Because I am not used to seeing that many NPC Type 10s. Right. Yep. Any messages this time? Uh, looks like it's all clear for now. Okay. Um, so go ahead and go to your uh, galaxy map and target gateway and then plot route straight to Dublin Citadel. Okay. And let me know when you've got that done. Alright, got the route plotted straight to the station. Okay, now drop to normal space. Cool. So I'll drop down. I'm gonna jump to gateway. Alright, and scout it out. And then when you're ready, you can jump and immediately begin heading to the citadel. And I'll try okay. to beat you there and make sure it's clear as well. Oh, oh god, that scared me. Hi there. <laughs> Apparently, Navlock uh, engaged. So I will Ooh. now be jumping to Gateway. <laughs> Good reflexes to have. All of a sudden, something just... drops out. Well, not just something drops out, but the last thing I heard from you was, I'm going to Gateway. <laughs> right. See ya. <laughs> I heard uh, combat zones have been made a bit more difficult now, so I don't know if there's anything that's been ha done to the NPCs, but... Mm, I think the NPCs haven't changed a huge amount. Um, okay. They did just make more spawns happen in combat zones as far as I know. The top-end engineered NPCs can also be difficult if you get a lot of them. It looks like yeah. there's no PCs in uh, Gateway, so... You're clear to jump. Right. I kind of do expect a pirate to come upon you, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. Here you go, initiating jump. Let me know if you get any suspicious messages. No. So far, I'm just seeing ones about cruise liners. <laughs> the regular. System. No eyes on you. No messages so far? Uh, seems all clear. Cool. I'm gonna go drop on the Citadel then. Oh god. Hmm? Uh, I overshot it. I was too worried about uh, lining up my angle and missed the seven seconds. I see. That's okay. I was circling the sun. It gives me time to get in.
video of a python almost getting one shot by bumping into the end of the station, so I need to loop around a little bit, because I'm terrified of doing that That's while good. coming out of Super Cruise. Good to approach from the right end. A non-pointy end. Yes. see here. It's a queue back there, so I don't think you have too much to worry about. And it's leaving. So you're good to come in and land whenever you are ready. Make sure to remember to request docking and slap your landing gear <laughs> down. Good things to keep in mind. Just engage, but <laughs> right, land the gear down. No, oh, I'm too far. Seven point five kilometers. This. What thrusters do you have, like 4D? Uh, 5A. Oh, that's not Action. bad. I have a uh, Honda built for the Sagittarius A run that's got, I think it's the 4, 4D thrusters, which is pretty anemic. Takes a while to get anywhere. I, I remember doing passenger missions um, like the long distance, uh, like adventure seeking ones. Yeah. And holy crap, like I min maxed my anaconda for that. Mm -hmm. It to the point of like no shields even. Right. And that thing, it just, it just doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs shields? Who needs thrusters? We can just put a fire extinguisher out the back and we'll get somewhere eventually. Mm -hmm. I had a fun moment when I completely forgot that my passenger was illicit mm -hmm. oh and Hold uh on. i got i got scanned and immediately coming out of the station yeah <laughs> and just the entire thing was gone oh my god i just had a moment of like wow that was i can't really blame anyone but myself <laughs> yeah the illicit passengers they, they pay well they're kind oh, of yeah. a pain There we go. Sweet. Oh, man. You want to pop inside? Yeah, there's a cobra right. here. Hi, Mr. Cobra. <laughs> oh, it's got a little hexagon on him. Hmm? A hexagon? Yeah. I don't know if that's from you. Oh, I think that's your target. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're the hex gun in the uh, wing. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, you can go sell all that sweet, sweet data. Unless you already did it at Colonia. Oh, no, I've been, I've been waiting on that. <laughs> sweet, well, is there anything else you need? Um, that was, that was pretty much it, just <laughs> me being nervous on the return trip. A surprisingly quieter than Colonia. <laughs> yeah, well, you're still at Type 10. Yeah. It wasn't for nothing. Dang. 
What, the oh amount of credits or what? The, uh, well, I'm looking at my, uh, uh, whatchamacallits, my cargo, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the rare goods, Jacques Quintinian still, <laughs> totals up to 2.2 million. Oh, that's not bad. Jacques has some good stuff. Yeah. Well, if you just want to let us know when we're good to close this channel, and if you want oh. to give a review in the testimonials channel, and I think we're good. Yeah, yeah I will definitely do that. Um, other than that, yeah, I guess we're all good to go. Coolio. I'm going to go back to writing my end of semester papers. It's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I, uh, I don't envy that at all. Yeah, it's for for my master's in education, so it's it's a fun literature review, and by fun I mean very painful. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night, man. I'm glad to get you back. <laughs> Thanks. It's good to finally be back again. Um, I was gonna say though, um, because I'm willing, if you want, I can drop some uh, cargo for you. If you want something to sell. Nah, I'm good. If you want to sell it now, I'll get uh trade credits, but if you want to sell it somewhere else, go right ahead. Let's see. <clears throat> but no, I've got like four billion in assets, so I really don't need... <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> do I need too yeah, that's much? Another, that's another thing. Getting back to also just start making money to see if uh, the fleet carries will actually be a viable thing for me. <laughs> I'm not even good at mining, and I can usually get, I'd say, I can usually get a full a load of like 300 million in maybe three or four hours of work, maybe three hours, yeah. So I'd say 100 million wow. credits an hour without even trying very hard. That just sounds insane. It, it It's broken. It's like you get a, a free anaconda, or you earn an anaconda every hour. It's... <laughs> Yeah, I don't even... whatever. <laughs> all, of, all of a sudden that free hot and orbital anaconda is... <laughs> right, it's not even a good time investment. It takes you an hour and a half to get out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well have a good night. Thank you. See you You around. too. Good luck with, uh, with your paper. Will do.